you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Uh, am I heard? Uh, please let me know if you have any problem from your side. Uh, you know, there is people, they come in the chat and they are like bugs and we told the admins anytime they come here, block them, but those admins are useless. So I think time to change the admins very soon. Uh, today our topic is about uh, uh, Zach and Ike. And you know, for me, it's, he's not even worth answering. But uh, some of you asked me to answer about him claiming that according to Christianity, when God, he said, or the Bible said, uh, that begotten a son, that means that he had sex. And here we see, actually, this is a clear insult to Islam, not to Christianity. Uh, you know, everybody knows that neither the Christians, neither the Muslims believe that Mary, she had sex in order to have a son. So when this idiot, he say what he say, well, isn't it this is contradict his religion? And he knew that our belief too, that Mary, she was a virgin and she did not have a son because of any sexual relationship. So how begotten a son mean God have sex? Secondly, you idiot. I don't know if I can call him an idiot. When this God we are talking about, which is our God, he, you say, oh, that means he had sex. Well, shouldn't he have somebody to have sex with? <laughs> Who is the mother of Mary? <laughs> Sorry, the mother of Jesus, Mary. <laughs> but was Mary exist <laughs> when Jesus was exist? Isn't it the Bible says that Jesus said, before Abraham I am? Did Jesus say, before Abraham I am? And the Jews, they said to him, you are not even 50 years old. So how he can be before Abraham? So, you know, those cowards, uh, they bring a Christian girl, and actually they use those Christians. Those Christians are the foolish ones of you who promote Islam without knowing. If you do not know how to answer such a stupid person, what kind of a Christian you are? Secondly, why you go there? I mean, what's the point? Can you really debate? So are you going to learn your religion from such a, such a stupid idiot? Who is the donkey here? So many of those, they call themselves Christians, I think they are brought, I think maybe even they, they you know, I don't want to say they pay them, but they made them come, and for sure they asked them the question before they go on the stage to talk. Uh, all of this is organized. I mean, it's like there's 20,000 people. How they knew that this girl is the one who will have a question? Simply, they have the question before the program, and this guy, they take advantage from with those ones. And uh, he say things which is really embarrassment for Muslims and embarrassment for Islam because we know that the Quran say clearly that Mary, she never had sex. And the Bible say the same. So how begotten a son mean had sex? Begotten a son between I have, you know, I had a son. That's it. It's not about, and if this is a man he's saying that, well, for sure then the man who is saying that well, he, he cannot have a son without having sex. So that can be sexual. But we knew that in the case of Jesus, it's a miracle. The Muslims agree and we agree. So how this idiot, he says such a thing. But you know, if you are a foolish, you are a foolish. I cannot make you smart. Nobody can make you smart. When the Chinese, they said, he, you know, he, he, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So this donkey, he make advantage of, advantage of little donkeys. And there is many Christians between us. They do not know the Bible. And look, a girl, her name is Mary. She want to learn. And she said to him, you said that there is no verse in the Bible that says, Jesus says, I am, uh, 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 I am God. And she caught for him what Jesus saying, I am son of God. And then he said, well, I said what he said. Let us see what he said. He said, Correct your statement. You 
made a question saying that I said that nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus is a of God. I never said that nowhere in the Bible is it mentioned that Jesus is a of God. I said there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible. There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or wait and worship him. And now the Muslim, they, you know, clap. And this uh, silly uh, Christian woman, she is being uh, the mockery of everybody. She cannot answer. She does not know her book. She is a stupid. She is being used. Now, not a single, and he said, there is in the Bible, it says there is many son of God. But if we go to the same chapter, if this lady really is really Christian, well, you just quote for him the verse that says only, there is only, the begotten son, there is only one begotten son. The rest are sons. I am, you know, we Christian when we pray, we say our father out of heaven. But we are not the begotten son. So when he answered her, a kid can answer, but those stupid Christians who call themselves Christians, they never never learn the Bible. They go and they put themselves, and this is why they brought them. Look, they are surrounding her like, like a police. You know, she is in the theater, you know. She, in, she, is in, she is the star of his stupidity. And those Muslims, they get, a, they get a prey, you know, like look around her. And she looked like a fool. She don't know what to say. Uh, I never say it. Jesus, uh, you know, I, don't, I never say it. I know where in the Bible it says, Jesus, I am son of God. There's many son of God in the Bible. David is son of God. Uh, but the fact, the verse she quoted for him. And this is why I say, you know, uh, debating is a gift. Not everybody can debate. Not everybody have the ability of debating. There is people specifically when they are in debate, they lose their sense, they lose their logic, they lose, they get intimidated, they don't know what they are saying. And we saw many of them from both, from uh, you know, Muslim side and from Christian side. If we go to the verses, uh, uh, Zakar Nayak, he mentioned. You will see it says there specifically, and we will answer about saying uh, there's nowhere he said I'm God. Uh, let us go to the verse. And where is the verse? Okay. All right. So this is the uh, the verse in the chapter in front of us. Let us zoom in. This is cha John chapter three. So when the Bible says that he is the only begotten Son, there is the word only. It doesn't say he is begotten Son. It says he is the only, and he himself Zechariah. He read the verse only. There is no other other person. So obviously, what the Bible speaks about, that there is no other person beside him as the begotten son. And then if we ask ourselves here, the verses we are reading, does it say only just he is a begotten son or, you know, there is something more? Uh, what about we challenge Zechariah to read the whole chapter and we will see if that chapter alone is enough to prove that Jesus is making it clear that he is God. For God loved the world in this way so much that he would give up his son. You see, when you say his son, if you have many sons, you don't say his son. There is no other son. And you know for sure there are different translation, but all of them they lead you to understand clear, clearly that there is only one son and there is no other. If a person he have many sons, we say he gave his son, which you know son, you know, we are talking about one, the only one, so that everyone who trusts in him shall not be lost. But she he shall have eternal life. Uh, for God did not send his son into the world. Etc. You can read the rest. So the verse is very clear. There's only one. The word one is there in front of you. 
there's no other son. And then, uh, uh, for God, he loved the world, he sent his son. If I am sent from above, and Jesus says, I am from above. You know, when Jesus said, I am from above, he would mean from where? Like he is an alien, he's coming from the space, he's a, he was a mentor. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Jesus saying, uh, you know what, uh, uh, I fail from a spaceship, you know. So, you know, they are silly and they are stupid and they are challenging the one who know nothing. And when you challenge someone know nothing, anyone can win such a challenge. A little girl, she have no idea what she is talking about. And maybe even she might be even the one who wrote the question for her, you know. We don't know. Uh, Jesus said, I am from above. But Jesus never said, according to Zechariah, that he is God. But how Jesus can be from above. So if we go to chapter 8, uh, the same book, book of John. And you will notice, by the way, the story of Mary, the Virgin Mary, uh, speaking about the begotten son, the only son, uh, it's coming in chapter 3 in the Quran, the same number. And I believe that when the Muslims, they made the Quran, they wanted to make it chapter 3 in purpose. You know, there's a reason to make it a chapter 3. So if we go now uh, to uh, John, let us see, go to John, hold on. Uh, John 8, let me move there. Uh, We open John 8 and we will see in a second that this man is an idiot and any 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 Christian kid can refute him in two seconds any one of you adult or kid you do not need to be genius really okay this is uh, John the book the Bible according to John if you read together here I mean, all the book of, the, 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 from the beginning, from the first uh, letters of John, in the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and then the Word became a flesh. I mean, it's a, the, whole Bible, the whole book of John is from the first line to the last line. But anyway, we will go with those liars. So if we read together, uh, Zachary Nike says, Jesus nowhere in the Bible says, I am God, worship me. This is John, chapter 8, the same book he's reading from. He's trying to refute you as a Christian. Uh, when the women, they, you know, they try, uh, uh, you know, like the, the Musa's law, that if somebody commit adultery, uh, should be punished for adultery. But those Jewish are, as usual, the same as the Muslim. If you remember the story, when a woman, uh, one of you mentioned to me a story about Muhammad, uh, a woman, she came to him. And she was, uh, she confessed her sin. She said, I did the uh, fornication. And she is carrying a child in her, in her womb. So Muhammad, because merciful, according to Muslims, he told her, go and, uh, you know, uh, come back after you give birth. She gave birth. She came back. She said, I am the one who commit fornication. And uh, Muhammad said to her, go after two years, uh, nurse your, your baby, your boy. So she came after two years, and then Muhammad, he stoned her. But you know this is the story, because Muhammad and the one who wrote the story, both of them are donkeys. Shouldn't Muhammad ask her, who is the one who slept with you? <laughs> I mean, what kind of judge, what kind of a prophet he is? So Muhammad here is the same as those hypocrite Jews. A woman, she committed adultery, but you will see only a woman. Where is the man? What is the man in the story? There is no man. They are going after the women, the poor women. You know, so uh, Jesus, he showed them that they are a bunch of hypocrites like the Muhammadan today. They go after the women and the man, he escaped. Muhammad was the biggest fornicator ever. He is not only fornicator, he's a rapist, he's a criminal, he's a thief, he's a child molester. So where is the man? There is no man. And then when Jesus says to them, if one of you, he among you, who is without sin, let him first cast a stone upon, uh, upon her. And, uh, you know, uh, for sure, they, right away they felt how hypocrite they are. 
Then they let her go. And then Jesus, he said to her, uh, where are they, the one who want to kill you? Has no man condemned you? But she said, not even one, Lord God. <laughs> not even one, Lord God, calling Jesus. And Yeshua said, neither I do condemn you. Go from now on and sin no more. Sin no more. And then Yeshua spoke again with them. And he said, I am the living God. You see, many translations, they translate the word I am. But this is what the Bible in the Old Testament says when, when, the, when Moses uh, uh, spoke to God. Uh, God, he said to him, I am, which, you know, the word all of us will use in the Hebrew. And we use it as a name for God, even though that God does not have really a name. But because he is holy, he is almighty. There's no name can describe him. So the I am, when you see Jesus saying, I am, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am the way. Yet you will see a filthy idiot saying, no, where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. How you can be the life if you are a prophet? How you can be the truth if you are a prophet? The truth is God. And actually, even the Muslim, they stole a name from Jesus, that he is the truth. And they give it to their God. If you ask the Muslims, what is, the, is it true that the name of your God is the truth? They say yes. But the fact is Jesus who said that. So Jesus says, I am the truth. And here we see in front of us, in front of your eyes, Jesus not only saying he is the truth, he is making it clear that he is the living God. He is, and no other one. I am the living God. And then we will find this potato saying that, well, where Jesus said, I am God, worship me. Uh, nowhere, you know. Can we find it? Is it really there? Where the Christians are bringing this from? So, you know, those people, when they make their claim, uh, they knew they can be refuted so easy. This is why they are bringing that girl to play as a fool. She's Abdul at that point, actually. This Christian woman, she is helping the Muslim to promote Islam and to make Christian look like a bunch of fools. This is exactly what the purpose of this. They will not put you in the stage unless you are stupid. Trust me. The second they notice that you are a person who can make them in the floor, you will never be there ever. Do we agree? You are invited to ask the question for a reason because they want to use you. You do not know. You are silly. You are stupid. You are ignorant. And you are trying to get an answer. And supposedly this girl, why, what about the, the, you know, this Zechariah, he say he want to take a question from a Christian prince. Hmm? <laughs> why this girl? I mean, why this girl, she can talk to him, but we cannot. Did you ask yourself? There is very simple rules. If you are not ready, I'm not going to challenge someone. He, he have a, a black belt karate in karate if I don't know even how to move my hands. That is stupid. So the Muhammadan, they chose someone. He have no idea. Is easy target. Easy to make him look fool. Not someone he can put Zach and Nike in the spot immediately. Now, going back to uh, uh, Jesus saying, nowhere Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Do, do you Muslims worship Allah because he says he's God? Well, if this is a scenario, well, your God, he says uh, he is God. Huh? And when he spoke about Mary in the chapter 3, verse number 40, look what happened. Just to show you who is the one who wrote the Quran. This is about Zechariah, and we will speak about Maryam later. The angels, they came to Zechariah, and they give him the good news about Yahya. But Yahya is the name of Yahweh. But Muslims don't believe in Yahweh. <laughs> Actually, the guy whose name is Daniel, he said to apostate prophet that Yahweh is a pagan god. <laughs> but he didn't know that Yahya is a, is a name of and Zechariah, Yeshua, means stupid people. So here you will see that the angel spoke to him, but what he said, my Lord, but the angel spoke to him. The one who writes the story is, in, is a donkey. If the angel is talking to him, how will he say, my Lord? Who is the Lord? The angel is his Lord. If you continue here saying, and the angel says to Mary, 
Allah has chosen you and has purified you. Okay, but we just heard Zach and Max saying, begotten son mean have sex with Mary, she have begotten son. Mary, she have begotten son. But the Quran itself saying that Mary, she have begotten a son and no man touch her. The angel said to Mary, Allah give you a good news for a word from him. His name is the Messiah Jesus, son of Mary. Okay. Where is Jesus coming from? He is a word from God. He is not from this earth. How will she receive him? She begot in a son. Did she have sex? The Quran says no. So here you see Zachary Naik is insulting his religion. And he is claiming that Islam believe that Allah had son from Mary by having sex with her. Because who is the one who made Mary have a son? Allah, according to the Muslims. So who is the one who had sex with her? Then Allah, if begotten son, mean, begotten, mean having sex. So very silly, very low class, and very trashy, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, savage, savage, trashy people, low class, lower than uh, the spit on the floor. Uh, here you will see that the Messiah is a person that exists before he was sent down. Why? Because his name is the Messiah, not his name will be the Messiah. And those who speak Arabic, they can read it. The translation is accurate, even though I don't agree with the translation of Muslims. It says, So he is telling you the good news, the glad news of a word from him. His name is the Messiah. So his name is the Messiah. His exist. And now if we go, uh, we will see that uh, uh, when Jesus said, let us see, uh, let us switch the Quran actually. I thought I'll switch the Quran. Give me a second. Uh, I will go. Yeah, this is stream yard is not helpful. Um, let us see. Okay, now we can read it better. So, and Mary, the one who said, uh, 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 Allah, uh, the angel, they said to Mary, the angels, Allah, he give you the glad tidings of a word from him. His name is the Messiah. And we show it to you in the front of your eyes. So the Messiah is exist, is a person who have a name. You don't give a name to a person who does not exist. You should say, you will call him. Let us say, you will call him. Okay. Uh, unless this name is a title, like he will be called, let us say. But this is a name given to nobody of a person, not only a title, because there's nobody have a title like this. His name is the Messiah. We remember this guy, his name, Potato uh, Uthman. He said there's many Messiah, and he was caught in a notebook trying to prove the point that there's many Messiah. And people, they die laughing at his stupidity. Uh, so his name is the Messiah. Uh, and this person who is the word of God coming down to you. And not only that, he will do miracles and he will speak to people when they are in, he's in the cradle. And here there's a mistake in the Quran. It says he will speak to people in the grave and the adulthood. Uh, the translation here says adulthood. The fact it says, وَكَهْلًا وَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ كَهْلًا when he grow old. Kahlan, when he grow old, not a young person. So Jesus, according to the Quran, he will grow old. And then here it says, she said, okay, Lord, how am I going to have a child when no man has touched me? Again, the same mistake. Who is the one who spoke to Mary? The angels. Who is Mary speaking to? The Lord. <laughs> do you see who answer? People, do you see who answer? Who answer? If the angel is the one who came to her, Mary, she said, Lord, my Lord, how can I have a child when no man has, you know, has touched me? Okay, wonderful. But the one she was talking to supposedly and the one is talking to her is the angels. 
Suddenly it is the Lord speaking to Mary, and the Lord is answering Mary. Do you see it? Uh, I see people in the chat, they are chatting about everything except our topic. That because there is a lot of people with super intelligence here. Right? Uh, we have a person here, he is smart, he is saying, you ate Jesus' body and you drink his blood and he is laughing. Well, this is very laughable. Yeah, first of all, you are a son of Muta, and as long as you are a person who say lies, we will say the truth. Can you show me one Christian who drink the blood of Jesus? As Jesus is around us, we drink his blood. You are very silly and stupid. You know. Son of Muta, what do you expect? Your mother, she gave birth to you in the bar. And the guy who slept with her, he opened her by a bowl in the bar. And then he dropped a drop of beer. And then you grow in the counter, as the Quran says. Isn't it the Quran says that the sperm will become a piece of a blood, a blood piece of a flesh? So this is you. A guy saw your mother in the bar. He dropped a, bar, a drop of uh, semen. And then it grow in the bar counter. And you became a human. MashaAllah. You see, this is how silly they are. The same as Zach and I. Well, everybody knows that we don't mean really that we are drinking his blood. But they are silly, stupid, you know, you drink the blood. Of it. But reality is the one who drink the blood of Muhammad is the Muslims, in real. We can show the hadith right now. When a person, a man, he drank the blood of Muhammad, he been promised to go to heaven. So you are a zombie. We have reference for it. What you are saying is absolutely false. I hope your mother, she will give birth to you, to another brother in the bar again. May Allah bless you. Okay. Uh, it is a pagan practice. Uh, you, all of your religion Islam is a pagan practice. Secondly, where, where is the pagan practice? We don't drink blood. Have you ever seen anyone in church drink blood? Jesus said, this is my blood will be in symbolic for his blood. It was a drink and the bread. So neither the bread is a, a practice of, of uh, paganism. Neither the drink is a sample of, and you are the one who is a pagan. You are the one who kisses stone. You are the one who bent a stone. The only, actually, the stone, the black stone, and we show the reference 1,000 million times that women, they touch their vagina, they place their hand inside the vagina. And that's why your prophet said that the sin of Bani Adam, the sin of the children of Adam, made the black stone black because it used to be white, like milk. So women, they touch their vagina, and those are women supposedly are sinners, and because they are sinners, they cannot have a baby, according to the pagan belief. And Muhammad, he adopted the pagan belief. He still bowed down to the stone. He cursed the stone. He licked the stone. And he claimed that if you touch the stone, the stone erase your sin. Are you there, Isa? May Allah, Isa, send you to heaven. And 72 virgins will jump on you. And they will try to suck your... Don't take me wrong. They don't have one. You are like your prophet. There's a chapter in the Quran about the penis of your prophet. It's called al abtar a man, he said to him, he is cut off. Muhammad, don't have a penis. Prove it. Prove it that he have a penis. Have you ever heard of a guy, he slept with all those women, he could not one of them have, have a kid for him? Not even one? Anyway, not our topic. Let us go back to our topic. So here you see the stupid Allah. He's making a story. The angel, they spoke to Mary. And Mary, she said, oh Lord. And then Allah answered. So why Allah sent in the angels if he's there? Was the angels there or Allah is there? <laughs> When we say stupid is amazing, it's amazing. Uh, by the way, starting from the coming life, we are going to start going in Christian Prince account. Take a note. So this is maybe will be our last podcast in this channel. Temporarily, you know, we switch between channels. The other channel, I think we have like a 90,000 something. This one is 80 something. So we will switch the ad channel. Take a note. And if you don't have it, maybe the admin can post that channel and you can subscribe. Uh, yeah. So do you see how easy it is to refute those, those cowards who don't dare to debate us? They bring a child. A child is not about just an age, you know. A child is a child in knowledge. Uh, uh, and, and then you will see here, it says, and he will teach him the scriptures and wisdom. Anyone notice the mistake here? Anyone notice the mistake? Focus with me. 
She said, my Lord, how can I have a child when no man has touched me? He said, okay, when you see the word he, who is the one who's talking? Anyone can help me? She just said, my Lord, how can I have a child when no man has touched me? He said, and the Muslim make it capital letter he. You see it? So right away when we see the he, is that he the angel or he is the God? Hmm? Any Muhammadan can help us? Where is the Isa? Isa, are you there? It says he. Who is talking? Who is the Abdul? He can find the fool. Who is he? If anyone have little logic, he will understand that he is God because she is talking to the Lord, right? She said, my Lord, right? The, is the angel is the Lord of, uh, of Mary, Muslims? So do you see how it's cheap at your, but look what happened in the verse after it. I mean, this, this book is written by a certified mule. So he said it will be so Allah create whatever. If you are Allah, why are you saying Allah create Allah? And then he says, he wills to have anything done he only say be it will it, it, it will be okay and then he says and he will teach him the scriptures and the wisdom like what the heck and he will teach him so he here who <laughs> remember the story saying angels said angels angels not one angel so he is one. This is number one. Number two, it is he as Lord because she was speaking to the Lord. So the one who is answering must be the Lord because she spoke to him and he answered. Huh? He said, it will be so. And as you see, the Muslim, they make it capital letter he because it is God. And then here it says, and he will touch. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and then this stupid Muhammad, he continues saying, a messenger to the children of Israel. So here you see another stupid statement from Muhammad. How, me, uh, how the Messiah, his, uh, he is a messenger to the people of Israel. Yet his book in the Quran is a Greek book. Why Muhammad used the name, which is a Greek name, which is Injil? If the Messiah is sent to the Jews, shouldn't the book name in Hebrew at least to choose from why Muhammad he chose the book of John to be the Injil <laughs> you know uh, the more I read the, the, the Quran it doesn't matter how many times you read it you will see how stupid and the and the, it's the slowly you analyze and see how stupid it is you will die laughing about such an author, he cannot even put, you know, I mean, there is no story in the story here. He is just uh, like, uh, this is something exists 600 years before you, and there's millions of people believe in it already, etc. So he can't even rewrite the story, even in the fabrication he's trying to make it. He cannot even put the persons, or let us say the actors of the stories, in the place where they should be. So suddenly, the one is talking here, and he will teach him, who is the one talking? If this is the Quran, and by the way, it doesn't say gospel, it says Injil. That's what we are saying. If this is the Quran, and Quran is the word of Allah, and he will teach him, who is saying that? Who is a Muslim can help us? Who is the one saying in verse number 48, and he will teach him? Any Muhammadan? Admins, are you sure you are an admins? Admins, are you sure you are admins? People using the F word. Hey, Andrew, what are you doing in the admin? What are all those admins for? I have them in the chat. Please watch the, the chat carefully. Don't use allow anyone to use bad language.
You can't see it. Should I put it for you on the screen? Anyway. Uh, so you see, I mean, the Muslim, they're trying to say something is not in our belief. They lie when they say, oh, the word begotten means uh, God has a son by sex. But all of us, we knew that uh, Jesus existence have nothing to do with any sexual relationship and we know that our God is holy and our God is the one who do not need to have sex in order to have a son but in fact that is only the God of Islam isn't it the God of Islam who he said how I can have a son yet I don't have a girlfriend so the God of Islam actually is the one who confirm that he is unable to so type in English He is unable to have a son unless he have a female to sleep with. So Zakanaik again is making fun and exposing his God as usual. Who is the one who cannot have a son without a female? Allah. Allah. Jesus' existence have nothing to do with Mary. Jesus exists before Mary was exist. The birth of Jesus as a man between us, that is not the point of existence. This is why the same book, the book of John says, in the beginning it was the word, and read the, the rest of it, and the word is what? The word is God. Here we see in front of us, in this funny Quran, chapter 6, Originator of the heaven and the earth, how can he have a son when he have never have a companion? Fast translation, because in Arabic it says sahiba. Sahiba means a girlfriend. But look what happened. We will keep this translation for the sake of fun. If Allah is the originator, how come he need a companion to originate? <laughs> Guys, are you, are, you listen, are you listening to me? Do you hear it? If Allah is the originator of everything, how does sentence make any sense? The originator of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son if he had never had a girlfriend? Well, that means he don't. He's not the originator. Because the one that Allah created the sun and the earth and the heaven and whatever is between and inside because he have a girlfriend? Isn't it him who originate Adam? So how come now he need a companion in order to, you know, to complete that uh, task? Do you see it? Yeah, Allah is comparing himself to a man, but this is not what we are saying now. Focus with me a little bit. I want you to focus with me in the word originator. If I am the one who originate, which means I'm the creator, do I need suddenly the creator who created this massive universe, suddenly he need a little female so she can sleep with him and then she give him a baby? What happened to the originator? He lost his power? <laughs> so, the same verse is the same proof that the one who wrote it is a stupid. Because you are questioning. Okay, the Muslim they say you cannot compare Allah to anyone, right? Nothing like him. But what do you mean nothing like him? That's a contradiction. He's like me. I cannot have a son unless I have a girlfriend, a wife, women, whatever. But you say you cannot compare him to anyone. But he just compared himself to me. If you change the translator, by the way, because some Muslims, they might say, oh, we don't like this translation. What translation you like? Tell me which one. Yeah, all of them, they are stupid. Let us see Yusuf Ali. Maybe Yusuf Ali can give Allah a, a better finger. To him do the prim primal origin of the heaven of the earth. How can he? I mean, look at the stupidity. You just, how you can question the one who originated the earth and the heaven? And you say, can, how can he? Do you see the word, how can? 
You Muslims ask in your God, how can he? Oh, no, no, we are not. It is him asking himself. So Allah sat in, the, sat in his ass and he said, hmm, how I can have a son without having a girlfriend? Huh? I cannot. <laughs> so when Zakir Naik, he said that the word begotten mean having sex, that is a contradiction for the Quran because here in chapter one, chapter 6, verse 101, he's speaking about a man, his name is Allah, he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. But the same book in the Quran says that Mary, she said to Allah, how I'm going to be getting a son when no man touch me. So it is possible for Mary, who no man touch her, yet she be getting a son. But it's not possible for Allah. Why? Because simply the God of Mary is the one who made Mary have a son. This verse proves that Allah cannot be the one or the reason or the originator of the heaven and the earth. He can't be the creator. He can't be the one who created Mary. You see, the story about Mary, if we go back a little bit, the story about Mary, how Mary came to existence according to the Quran, her families, her parents, uh, they are very old. They cannot have a son. They cannot have a daughter. So how they can have a son? How they can have a daughter? If we go here, how Mary, she came to exist. How, how Yahya came to exist, actually, in this, in this example I give first. How, how, how Yahya came to existence? How Mary came to existence? They cannot have kids. So this is mean it's not sexuality who made them have kid, even though they are married and they are wife and husband. It's a miracle. The man he is old, the woman is old, the same as the story of Abraham. It's a miracle. So we see that God of Abraham is the God who can do miracles, which nobody can do. The stupid God of Islam, he steals stories from the stories of the Old Testament, and he put it in his book. He steals stories from the, from, the, from the New Testament. He put it in his book. But because he's a stupid, he lost the meaning. For as you see here, the God of the Christian, the God of the Jews, he can, according to the Quran, he can make the man who he maybe cannot even, you know, have a son forever. That's it. And not only that, the verse says it clearly that the woman, she cannot give birth. She cannot have babies. And he is so old. So the problem is from both sides. The woman, she passed the age where she, you know, she, she don't have her period. And that means mission impossible. She don't have egg. So how this God was able to make such a person and such a woman had a son, but in chapter 6, verse 101, he could not make himself have a son without a woman. <laughs> um, anyone have any question? Anybody have a question? So do you see how easy to refute those liars? But you know, if you if if you don't know, anyone can refute you. If you don't read your book, uh, if you don't go deep, I advise you all of you, regardless of your age, you know. Actually, those those that, that what we do now here is really helpful for many, so they can see uh, many things. Number one, we can trust Muslims when they answer; they lie, just to make a point which does not exist. Uh, we can trust them to explain their religion because they lie about relig their religion too and they lie about our belief. So, conclusion, we cannot trust a Muslim speaking about Islam or speaking about Christianity. Please answer, CP, is Islam is an antichrist. Uh, Islam is antichrist, but not the antichrist. 
The Antichrist is a person. is not a group of people. But the Bible says, who is the Antichrist? The one who deny the Son and the Father, right? You deny them both? That Jesus is a Son? Islam deny it. So Islam as a be is a belief is Antichrist. Muhammad as a person is Antichrist. But I don't believe he is the Antichrist. He's so small to be such a person. He's an evil, yes. His followers are big in number, yes. But he is too small to have such a title. <clears throat> Can Muslims have uh, sex with multiple women at the same time? Uh, you see, the, the Quran says it is lawful for you, your women. So nowhere in the Quran it says, don't do it. Now the Muslim, what they will do, they will say the Prophet used to go from women to women uh, and he put them in different houses. That because they used to fight. Hmm? Quran says it's made lawful for you. All those women. As you see. It's forbidden for you, women who they are married, except even married women, if they are your slaves, you can rape them. Even they have husbands, as you see. So it's lawful for them to have sex with all the women. Nowhere in the Quran says you cannot. If a Muslim can show me, you know, please help me. I would like to see it. I want to learn from you. Uh... Uh, whoever, who's ever denied a son, uh, a, a son does not have the father, who is ever denied a son, uh, does not have the father, but whoever confessed the son has the father as well. Okay. Any other question? Uh, here we have a question. It says, Antichrist, why not anti Muhammad? or anti-Allah, uh, Muslim only? The, the answer is very simple, because uh, how, how shaitan can be anti himself? Actually, when the Muslims, they agree that shaitan is antichrist, they agree that he is God. Because shaitan, he will not challenge someone like me and you. This guy, he have his kingdom. He's ruling the earth, actually, as we speak. So who am I and you? He is antichrist. For this is the king who he fight against. This is the king of kings. You know what I mean? So when a Muslim, he says, if you go in their hadith, you will see they are saying at the jal al-Masihu al-Dajjal. And the Muslim, they translate it as the Antichrist. This Antichrist existence in Islam is just a copy theft from a thief. His name is Muhammad. He have no dignity. He steal. He copy. He paste. And then we laugh at him as usual. So we go here. We find that the Antichrist is all over the Hadith. If we ask the Muslims why there is Antichrist, there is no anti-Muhammad. If Muhammad is the most important person, why the Antichrist? The Antichrist is anti-God. And actually, Muhammad, he made it clear that the Messiah is God, not only by accepting the idea of the Antichrist, that somebody will come claiming to be the Messiah, uh, but this person, he can chop a person to pieces and he put them together. So he's not just a man, he is Satan himself. Uh, there's a hadith, let me see if I can find it, about the Antichrist. Uh, see, here we go. Uh, here we go. Read with me this. When the Antichrist, he see. And his, and his army, this guy is powerful. He defeat everybody. He conquered the whole earth. But the second he see the Messiah, 
when the enemies of Allah, read carefully, would see him, see who? Jesus. Which Jesus? The son of Mary. Jesus, the son of Mary, would descend and would lead them. So Jesus is where? He's in heaven. Jesus is in heaven. When the enemy of Allah would see him, he would disappear just as salt dissolve itself in water. And Jesus will make him dissolve like salt. That is how amazing the power of a Christ. And the one who is witnessing to the power of a Christ is the devil himself, Muhammad. The devil Muhammad himself agree that when Shaitan, Aka Allah, Aka Muhammad, see Jesus, he will dissolve like salt in water. Any Muslim have a comment? Somebody is ask, asking, uh, what color was Jesus? A Ghana, Nigeria, I believe you are a racist person because only people who care for the color of Jesus is racist. Have you ever seen one statement in the Bible speaking about the color of Jesus? Nowhere. Do you know why? Because the Christianity is against racism. Only racist will ask, what is the color of this person is coming to me? Because color is a concern to you, for you are racist. And racism not only can come from somebody is black or white. Racism is racism is exists in every ethnic. Why you care for his color? Do you have an answer? There's only one answer. You are racist. If Jesus was born in Africa, he will be black. If he's born in China, he will be uh, Asian. If he's born in Korea, he will be Korean. If he's born in, you know, what, what, what difference is going to make? But if we ask the Muslim the same question about their prophet, there is books speaking about how white Muhammad is. How white. Not only actually that, according to the filthy Muhammad, that when Allah He created Adam, He created, He created the, the black people from the left shoulder of Adam, and He decided to kill them to send them to hell. And He created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam, and He decided to send them to hell and the hate in front of you. So according to the cult of Islam, the pagan cult, the black stone kissers. You are black because Allah, he punished you and he made you black. Actually, this is the Quran. The Quran says it clearly, the day Allah will make faces black and make faces white. And maybe you might say, oh, this is metaphorical. No, you can go to chapter 30, uh, 82, verse number uh, 32. Uh, sorry, chapter an yeah, chapter an verse number 82. You will see it says, uh, we can go to Ibn Kathir actually. Hmm? You might say uh, this is not true. You will see that Allah will send the, uh, the animal, a beast, and this animal uh, let us see. This animal is going to have uh, this is Luqman. Uh, let us go to 82 chapter. Oh, go ahead, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> is the screen showing for you guys? 
Like you hold on. I don't want to give you a headache. Give me a second. Too many screens open in my side. I need to close some. Yeah, chapter 27, actually. Yeah, 27. Uh, 27. And then, yeah. I was right. 27. I will put it for you on the screen in a second. Give me a second. So what the story is saying that Allah will send a beast and this beast in chapter 27 verse number 82 let me just go here put it for you on the screen And when the word is fulfilled against them, we shall bring out from the earth a beast to them, which will speak to them because mankind believe not with certainty. Remember, this is the Muslim translation. Uh, if you go and read the, the interpretation, you will see Allah he will send the beast, will have the staff of Moses and the stick of uh, uh, and the ring of Solomon, and will hit the, uh, the believer uh, in his face and he will make him white very white and he will hit the disbeliever in his face and make him black so when this uh, poor person from Africa he questioned what is the color of Jesus well I don't know how you as a Muslim can be a Muslim and you are African uh, any other question Anyone? Did the Jews of Medina help uh, uh, Muhammad first against Christians? Was Quraysh Jew or Sabian? You know, Quraysh was not Jews, neither uh, Quraysh is a collection of religion. There's, they don't have, you know, like one religion. But uh, all of them, they worship Allah. The, uh, the, the Quraysh, all of them, they worship Allah. And they worship idols beside the big idol Allah. Uh, however, uh, we might assume that when Muhammad he ran away from Quraysh, his tribe, to the city of Medina, which is so called Yathrib, uh, we assume that Muhammad he chose to go to the Jews uh, for a reason. You know, he said to himself, "The Christian they rejected me. The Arab, my tribe, they hated me." For my lies and who left the Jews will support me because I am sound like creating a Christian sect to divide the Christian more and more so it's possible that the Jews they support this is why they welcome him in the beginning in the city of Medina and then later they pay the price as usual the Jews they supported the Persian when they attack Jerusalem and they killed the Christians and then they paid the price the Jews they helped the Muslims when they invaded Spain and then they paid the price. The Jews, they helped Muhammad to be a refugee when he come to them. And then they paid the price. They never learned. Okay. Do we have any Muslim want to have anything? Want to say anything? Until now, you notice, we do not have one Muslim. He answered anything we said. Like when, when, when we ask the Muslims, how Allah, he says to, uh, who is the one who was talking to Mary? Mary, she said, the angels, they said to Mary, uh, you are going to have a son. The angels, the Mary, she said to the, to, 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 to the Lord, how I can have a son? He answer, he can create everything. And he will teach Jesus everything. Who is the one who is talking? It's just a stupid book. 
additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. And uh, the proof that Muhammad is a fraud, not only he himself cannot explain himself, the Muslims after him, they cannot explain. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Anyone? Uh, Robert asking, why Islam rejected the concept of father of Allah? Well, this is the bent you are talking to who? If you speak about Zakir Naik, Zakir Naik, we will believe. If you believe that Allah is the creator of everything, we believe he is our father, yes. But this is absolutely false. Zakir Naik is a fraud, and he don't answer really based on Islam. They are just in the stage for a show. Uh, but Islam never refused the concept of being, uh, like if we go to your question, Reject the father uh, concept of father for Allah. You see, Muhammad is a stupid person. He do not know what Christians believe. So Muhammad, he said to the Christians, Aka Allah, uh, why you, if, you, if you think, if you call yourself, you are the children of Allah. So why Allah is punishing you? So Muhammad, obviously, he do not know what the Christian meant when they say we are the children of God. Uh, and both of them said, the Jews and the Christian, they said, we are the children of Allah. And his beloved ones say, why then does he punish you for your sin? See the stupid logic? So uh, Muhammad is an idiot. He's, a, he's an illiterate, as Muslims they call him, but not illiterate about writing or reading. He is just a trashy person, you know, he's a Bedouin, he lives in the desert, he has no education, and suddenly he's involved in uh, something very, very uh, deep. So, uh, this, the logic is, uh, so how you say you are the children of Allah if he bonus you for your sin? So, Muhammad, he was speaking here, okay, if you are children of Allah, then you should be uh, treated as a children of Allah. You are not. But what Muhammad do not know, that none of the Jews, none of the Christians think really, that he is a child of God meant that God really is his father, literally. Our father is our provider. Our father is our protector. Our father is the reason for us to exist. Our father have nothing to do with someone marrying my, um, our mother and then he have a child from him. So another foolish answer from a foolish man who do not know what he's talking about. Any other questions? Uh, somebody saying, Cain, please reply. Please let Europe and Israel say stop bringing Muslim refugee to the West. There, otherwise, the West will pay the price. Well, let the West pay the price. What's your problem? I believe strongly that every nation deserves what will happen to them. You know, there is an Arabic statement or saying: There's two guys are crossing the river, and in old days to cross the river, like now. You know, you have to blow like, uh, they, they make something from leather and they tie it up, they blow it like a balloon and they hold it under their chest and they swim. When they were in the middle of the river, one of them, his balloon, start leaking air. The guy starts screaming, it's leaking air, it's leaking air. The guy next to him, he said to him, it was your mouth who blow it and your hand who tied it. Don't blame anyone. So why we want to cry, you know, let the Muslims come and let them take Europe. I will never be sorry for anyone. Let them take America. I believe strongly that God, he punished nations for their stupidity. Isn't it the Bible says, my people will be destroyed because of their ignorance? So do you think you can stop God will? God will is, if you are ignorant, if you are stupid, you will be punished. He's not the one making you stupid. You decide to be stupid. So stop making that will not work. What about educating your people? Huh? Make them smarter. Think for the future. 
and that maybe will help them. But God don't help the fool. The fool is a fool. And I will not be uh, upset, actually, to see those who deny God stay away from him being punished. Look at them. I will never cry for them. They are like the same as the Mohammedan. Drugs, nakedness, uh, uh, all what they want is just to drink, have sex, and then do abortion. You go to Morocco, drugs is number one, you know, like uh, entertainment, prostitution, etc. You go to Egypt, you go, it's, this is Europe, this is exactly, it's coming to you. And nobody speak about uh, uh, ethic as they do in the Middle East. And soon, Europe will be the same. Will, they lost all their ethics soon. I cry for nobody. Even if it's my brother who is from my father. The one who go to hell, he go because he deserve it, my friend. God, do just. And let just be. Be strong. Don't compromise. Uh, why Muslims they use a green clothes for a grave? Because uh, Muhammad is a desert man. Some Muslims they use white. Depend. They go supposedly by what Muhammad wear when he died supposedly. There's a story of a person he died, and there is a smart person between them. He is educated Muslim. He told him, this guy is not dead. He said, how, how so? He said, well, I can prove it. So the guy is in the, you know, they, they, like they wash his body. They put him on the top of a bed. So he flipped him and he put his finger in his anus. And he said, look, his anus is warm. Then everybody in the funeral start doing the same, putting his finger in the anus to check really if the man is not dead. And this is Islam. Everybody is going to place his finger in the anus to find out if Islam is dead or not. If it's cold, yeah, it's dead. If it's warm, still there's some farting. Very scientific method. Don't do it at home. <clears throat> I know my answers are straightforward. And maybe some of you, like maybe first time, you say, this guy, really, he speaks... Uh, this is my friend. This is this is this is why we have to be different. Enough is enough. Everybody is sugarcoating his talk. Nobody want to say the truth. Nobody. Fake people. Very fake. Aren't you sick of the fake one? Honestly, aren't you aren't you sick of the fake one? Everywhere you go, you hear fake talk, fake opinion, fake courage. There's you know. Uh, uh, even those, there's many that claim to be Christians. They are being hypocritical Muslims. You know, they don't dare to say even Muhammad is a, is, a, is a filthy man. I remember once I was uh, speaking to a lady and her husband, what her, and uh, they were Jehovah's Witnesses. So the lady, she said to me, please, I respect your uh, belief. I said, I don't respect yours. <laughs> I don't. She looked at me and she was like shocked. Like, man, this man is rude. I said, well, you are being hypocrite when you say you respect my belief. If my belief is satanic, it's false. How do you respect such a false belief? So who is the hypocrite here? And this is what the world today is teaching you. I respect you, but in your heart you don't. In your mind you don't. So you say something in your mouth because you are a potato. You don't have the courage. And you are afraid... And you want to be politically correct, so everybody will give you a hand. Yeah, thank you, you are wonderful. The second you say a the truth, there's a consequence, and you don't dare to face the consequence. You know, I respect your belief. I don't respect your belief. No, I don't. The second you say such a thing, there's only one person he is a true. If we start saying to each other, I respect your belief, and that's me, all of us, we are lying to each other. Those things can work for somebody, you know, going for Congress. He want to be a senator. He want to be, he want to lie to everybody, you know. Like, let us say you want to be a senator 
uh, you know, in uh, uh, in Egypt. I saw a movie. The guy is a promising microwave. Every citizen would have microwave. Those poor people, they never have saw microwave. They don't even know. They, they saw it in the movie. He promised the microwave. It's just for election. And nobody would have it. Nobody would touch it. How they would have microwave if they didn't have even electricity? You know? Shouldn't you promise me first electricity and then you promise me the microwave? So, either we turn like, like them, hypocrite. And by the way, do you know that uh, the coward uh, Adnan Oktar, uh, his team, they flagged my video for copyright? I don't know if you know. YouTube took it down. You know, remember those girls who dance for the sake of Allah? Yeah. Yeah. And YouTube took their side as usual. Any other question? Uh, Isa is talking about Babylon. I like that, uh, Isa. Isa, what about I give you an option to call me and let us talk about Babylon. What do you think, Isa? Isa, I heard that it's lawful for you to eat food in your mother house. Is that true, brother? <laughs> huh? Brother, you are talking about Babylon. Does that include the Babylon where Allah he sent two angels, Harut and Marut, to open her uh, body water school uh, to teach magic, brother? Huh? Ah, talking about Babylon, huh? Hmm. I never heard of a God. He make chapter. You know, it's not willing to eat food, to eat food in the house of your mother. It's not a problem to eat how food in the house of your sister. And there's no problem if you eat food in the house of your uh, like what the heck? Blah blah blah. What the what the point of this? This is God, this is religion. Look, 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 look at this. Look at the science. Look at this. There is no restriction. No restriction on the blind. No restrictions on the lame. No restriction on the sick. No restriction if you eat in your house. Like, what the heck? You just told the blind guy it's okay to eat in your house? Are you sure? Isa, are you there? He said, be honest with me. The one who made this chapter, is, the, is it a goat or it's a goat? What do you mean no, no blame if you eat in your... The guy is blind, where he will go? Where, where people at that time usually eat? They go in the Sheraton? In the Hilton? Huh? Where does where the blind guy he go? And Allah, now he is giving us this resolution, brother. There is no restriction in the blind, nor any restrictions in the lame. Oh, so the one he cannot walk, you can eat in your house, brother. Thank you, Allah. Before that, I used to go. I drive 10 hours to eat in the restaurant. At that time, there is no restaurant. And what is this guy talking about? Where people eat? This is a small, tiny town. Have like a few hundred uh, family. And he's telling them there is no problem to eat in your home. And then they continue. Or the house of your father. So all their life eating in the house of their father. And now you are telling them you can eat in the house of your father. Or the house of your mother. Man, that's deep. Are you there, Isa? Huh? I mean, who is the wise person who wrote this scripture, brother? No, Isa, he played dead. And not only that, actually, this verse here is saying that you cannot trust a Muslim to give him your keys. As an example, he says, it's not a problem if you eat in the house of somebody, you have his, the key of his house. So you bring a Muslim to be your estate agent. What the Abdul would do? He will go to your fridge. He will swallow your food. 
the guy he gave you the keys for his house, why you want to eat his food? I mean, he gave you the keys. He did not give you that food. So I want to go in vacation. I give it to my neighbor, Abdul. Say, Abdul, brother, can you please take care of my... Oh, no, no, don't do that. If you want to do that, take all the food away first. He will eat it. And this is God talk. This is God words, isn't it? That's deep. Who is the, the philosopher who wrote this? Is that Aflatone? Be honest with me, Isa. Is that Aflatone? Is that Bitcoin? That's deep, man. How uh, how can you think straight and uh, so early in the uh, morning? I will give you the solution. First, you bring, as I remember, the Prophet Muhammad, he said, water is always pure, nothing make it impure. So you bring some camel pee with uh, dog pee, uh, <clears throat> uh, any kind of pee, the Pepsi pee, seven up pee, you mix them together. And then you say the name of Allah 100 times. And then you say the word wadud, 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 100 times. And right away, sister, wisdom will come. Have you ever heard of a God? He sent wisdom in dishes. I mean, Muslims, you are talking about blah, blah, blah. This stuff, the vein of a prophet Muhammad with a dish of wisdom. Let me find with a hadith. I never heard a dish of faith, a dish of wisdom. Where is that story? Huh, here we go. Only in Islam, only in Islam, faith come in dishes. Look at this. So they come to Muhammad, they cut open from his, uh, from his uh, neck all the way to his testicles because testicles is where faith is. Jibreel uh, uh, took a charge of him, brother. Yeah. And Jibreel uh, cut open the part of his body between his throat to the middle of his chest. That's false. It's called the one all the way to his testicles. And took all the material out, brother. All the material. And this is the material the most people they like it. Look at when I read it, people they will go crazy. About the man. About Abdu, Abdu, Abdu men. So Abdu men, Abdu and men, they took them off, brother, and he washed it with Zamzam. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He want to prepare his prophet to go to heaven. He need to do plastic surgery for him. Isn't it the same God who can say being is going to be? Now why he's washing? What is that? Detergent, Zamzam, take off his body part, and then, uh, and they clean inside of his body. Man, a lot of shit there. Excuse me. Did I say shit? I should not say that word. It's haram. In Islam, you can eat shit, but you cannot say it, brother. They drink the piss of the Prophet. They drink the piss of the camel, but they are very, very polite. Don't say shit, brother. So look what happened now. They clean inside his body. And then a golden tray containing gold bowl full of belief and wisdom brought, brought to Zabriel and he stuffed it in his chest and he threw the vessels. Look, what the heck? This is too much. It must be true. What is Isa? So the one is asking me how I can think straight. It doesn't matter what the time is. All what you need, an angel, he come to you, he cut from your throat to your testicles. And then he bring, he was all inside. Hmm. Yeah. Hey Muslims, anyone can explain to us how in the world a dish of faith Are you saying the fatter we are, the more faith we will have? How, how many dish? Hmm. Arabian prophet, where is Safaraz? I don't know. I think he, he ordered a dish of wisdom, and since then he didn't ever come back. Asking me about Safaraz, who cares? 
אני אבדול. Somebody is giving an analyze here. Look. Hope, seek, true. When CV is tired, he is most like tired from work. And sure, he make mistake, but not because he lied, because no one perfect. And I misremember something and call my auntie different name. What does that mean? What I have to do with your auntie, man? And what mistake is that? Yeah, all of us will do a mistake, I agree. As an example, mistakenly, I put your text on the screen. It's not worth it. What anti, what mistake, what, my friend, come on, take it easy. What did you eat for dinner or for breakfast? Like once I was in the airplane and the guy next to me, he kept fart. So I wanted to tell him that you are a stupid idiot. Stop farting. So I said, what did you eat for dinner? Uh, he started remembering, like, he, he, did not, he did not get it. And then I asked I ask him, did you eat eggs? And then he started thinking, he said, uh, no. Like, what the heck? Still, he is not getting it. And then I said to him, stop farting, man. Like, you sit in the airplane, and you are going to fly for 12, 13 hours. And then the guy next to you, he keeps farting. By the way, farting is from Allah. Oh, sorry, from Shaitan. But Allah created Shaitan. Do you know that Shaitan, he take care from your anus when you pray? He will not stop. He will straight the hair. He will put his foot in your anus. And he will pull the hair from your anus. And he will not stop until he hear it and he smell it. Yeah. Don't ask Isa to come back. I, Isa now is praying and Shaitan taking hair from I mean, you have a prophet. He, he say to you, Shaitan, take hair from your anus. How in the world do you believe in such a man? You must be a very something weird. Ah, hold on, hold on. Isa here. Isa is here. Yeah, we will see at the end. Satan misses with the believers, not with you. Let me correct you, Isa. Satan he misses with the anus of you, not us. This is what you are trying to say. So you are agreeing that Shaitan take care from your anus. So look at this shaitan. I mean, he had many places to play with. He chose your anus. And Allah could not protect you. You read Quran, you read, etc. You say the name of Allah. The name of Allah could not even protect your anus. And you agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see in the end. Satan misses with the anus of Isa H. The believer's anus is missed well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Any Abdul? They are genius, man. They are so smart. Shaitan, he round himself around their penis. Shaitan, he play with their anus. Their prophet, he needed plastic surgery. Allah, he sent him to Thailand. In Thailand, there was a, a guy who did some surgery. Uh, his name is Jibreel. He used to be a female. And then Jibreel, he said to Muhammad, sit down, idiot. He cut his chest. He took his testicles. He called the abdomen. And then he put some, uh, you know, acid and some zucchini and some, uh, you know, whatever. Uh... Why you don't expose? Why you don't expose the falsy, falsy book of Sharia law? So what we do here, drop? What exactly we are doing here today? So what we did last time, and the time before. But this is the book of Sharia, the Quran, and the Hadith. And I think Rob he came late, late you know. Rob is like you know my cousin who went to the movie to watch a movie. And uh, after he came back, we asked him how the movie was. He said, hey, 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 hey. by the time I finished shaking hands and saying, Assalamu Alaikum, the movie was over. Take your time, Rob. We are doing this for the last century, and you're asking me why I'm doing it? So what I'm doing here? You came at the end of the movie because you're busy saying, Assalamu Alaikum.
Anyone else? <clears throat> um. <laughs> I'm trying to read the comments. Okay. Anything? Uh, each time we come here, you know, is to show the Christians and the Muslims why we reject Islam and why we believe in Jesus. You can say whatever you want about Jesus. You can say, uh, you know, uh, the Christians are pagan. You can, you can say, but you know, you are laughing at yourself because we are not. We are not the one who kisses stones. It's you. We are not the one who pray in the direction of a stone. It's you. We are not the one who believe stones can forgive our sin. We are not the one who replaced God by a man. His name is Muhammad. We believe that God, our God, is Jesus. We did not make a man God. You made your Muhammad a God. Allah, he says something in the Quran. Muhammad, he says something. You take what? You take what Muhammad say. You don't take what Allah says, supposedly. Isa is a crying. Well, put yourself in his shoe. Excuse me. I don't want to say that word. Isa is a crying, not because he lost an argument or a debate. Shaitan is, is, is missing with his anus. Do you know how painful it is? Me, myself, I do not know. But Isa told us before. See the previous a previous comment. So if you think if you see Isa crying, not because he lost a debate or an argument, but because Shaitan is missing with missing up with his anus, painful. Isa, we stand with your anus, brother. Let us pray to Allah to protect the anus of Isa, brother. I mean, your God could not even stop Shaitan from going to heaven, and what he do? He shoot the Shaitan who tried to spy at him. And some of them, they spy, it's, which means they hack him. Can you believe it? What's wrong with this God? I mean, I can trust Allah for, for a, to, to protect a computer. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Hmm. After he hear and he steal, and now you will shoot at him? What's the point? The top secret file is leaked. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a good security that after the guy, he got your information, he publish it, we shoot him. That's so good. Hmm. Do we have an Abdul? Uh, Christian Malik, he's saying, a welcome Christian Malik, my friend. He was the one who told Muhammad he saw Jibreel. Then who is Waraka guy? I think Muslims should uh, uh, show him respect. He just as important as Uthman. You see, Waraq ibn Awfal, in my belief, he is the real father of Muhammad. If you have my book, you will see that when uh, uh, the father of Muhammad, he was going to have sex with his wife or his hooker, the mother of Muhammad, the sister of Waraq, she offered him 100 camel to sleep with her. And this is, this is the Muslim story, not my story. And then when Muhammad's father, he supposedly, the supposed father, he went and slept with the woman. He came back and he accepted the offer of the sister of Waraka. She didn't want him no more. So I think what happened, Waraka bin Ufal is the one who was sleeping with that woman, the mother of Muhammad. And the father of Muhammad was sleeping with her too. The Arab used to have something uh, I spoke about it in my uh, other book, Sex and Allah, uh, about uh, group marriage, like one woman, many, multi men. And when she have a baby, she choose the father. Uh, however, Muslim reference proved that Muhammad was born four years after his father death, the one who they claim he is his father. 
So I believe Waraka is the true father of Muhammad, and he is the one behind his marriage to Khadija, and he is the one behind him announcing himself as a prophet. And this is why you will see that when Waraka died, Muhammad he even tried to commit suicide. No man will try to commit suicide because the neighbor he died. That is not, doesn't happen. There's something bigger. Why he tried to kill himself? And he tried to attempt to kill himself many times because Waraka is his father. Waraka is the one who was making Quran, which is a summary of the Injil, supposedly. Waraka, according to Muslim, he became a Christian, but Nasara, not Christian like us, uh, which is a cult. And he was uh, uh, training Muhammad, his son, to take his place. Uh, anything else? This is why you see each time Muhammad is lost, when he is a kid, where they find him? With Waraka. With Waraka. Waraka is everywhere. You will come, Christian. Um, anyone have a question? So, what do you think, guys? I come like I could. Do you, did you take a note? I will be next time live in my other account, Christian Prince. Not here. All right, take a note. We might do it one more here, but mostly even next uh, uh, from the starting from today, I will start going in the other account. So please take a note. And the, the best way to find where I'm going to be, so you will not be confused, you go to Patreon, you click at the last video, is which is coming event, and you will know where I will be. All right? Just take a note, please. And Carolina, she is posting for you. Actually, yeah, yesterday I met a girl from uh, uh, from Indonesia, but she don't understand Indonesian, Carolina. I told her orange, orange. She have no idea what orange, orange mean. I said, what's wrong with you? Orange, orange. There was too many people, you know. So I said to her, orange, orange. Still, she don't understand. So that made me think that she is not telling the truth. She is not Indonesian. You should see her mouth. I said, this is Indonesian? I said, yeah. Orange, orange. It's all over the Quran. You know? Still, she did not get it. Yeah, in Indonesian language, orange, orange, orange means people, like many, many people, a lot of people, you know? Like in the language of, uh, uh, you know, like if you are from Japan like me, if you say apple, apple mean a lot of kimchi. Like apple, apple, because in Japan they think apple is kimchi. But you know, they, you know they, this is the it's, it's, it's change of culture. But it's something bigger than your size. Sorry, I can't explain it for you. Orange is people or person? Who, who taught you this such an Indonesian language? Person? No. When you say orange, orange is not a person no more. It's multi-personality like Muhammad. So he think he is, like he, he is speaking, he says Allah, he said we, uh, but he. This is orange, orange, my friend. <laughs> uh, why the mosque have a moon in the top of the... My friend, just at least be thankful that they have a moon, not the picture of Joe Biden. <laughs> Let us be honest, man. Imagine they put for you Joe Biden in the top of the moon. Even though both of them they are stars. You know? Yeah, they put the moon in top of them and they say we have nothing to do with the moon. Our religion have nothing to do with the moon. Like, so why you have the moon? We have nothing to do with the moon. It's like a Christian saying, We have a cross in the top of the church, but we have nothing to do with the cross. Like what the heck? Like what is in your head? Huh? I'm not a rooster. Like, what what is that red thing? Isn't this the rooster? Uh... Oh. <clears throat> uh... 
Any of those? You see, what I don't like, there's people that try to take my job as a professional in the uh, Indonesian language. Oh boy. Orange is only word that does not ram with any, any other. Thank God you are not my uh, uh, you know, uh, teacher. What is that? <laughs> okay, just forget. Guys, don't listen to anyone. I'm the only one here to speak Indonesian fluently. I can prove it to you. I can open right now the same verse in Indonesian, you know, and the earth we spread out. This is the verse speaking about the earth. Allah, he made it flat. Let me, let me switch to Indonesian. Let me, hold on, hold on. Just to show you, the, you know, the power of education. What is this? Where is that? No, we don't want that. Uh, text English, text English. What the heck is that? Where is the translation? Here, here. Bahasa. You know why they call it Bahasa? I'm sure none of you knows. I feel sorry for you. Where is the Indonesian? Malayalam. 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 Uh -huh. I know now why it's it. Portuguese, okay. Uh, Turkish, Aman, Rabbi, Aman. Urdu, Ooh. I'm skipping the Indonesian. I'm not seeing it in purpose, I think. Well, why I'm skipping it? Where is the Indonesian? Albanian. I look, I think they took the, they took the Indonesian translation off. German, here we go, Indonesian, here we go. Bahasa, Indonesian. I love Indonesian language. Then kami tela mingad. I mean, this word alone will make me quit. Not only languages will make me quit to take the train. What? I hope this is not the word they use when they call nine one one. Unbelievable! That's a very nice. I like it. Bumi dan. Manjadi Khan Diana go Diana is but, but no but Diana Gong Gong what is that? The gong oh, no, no. this is not orange orange, this is something different now. Gun Gunan 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 Gun and Okay, we are getting closer. Hold on. Gun and Gun ang, gun ang, two gun ang, okay. It's like okay. I think now you know you know like gang ang. You know it's mean like you know. So I think it's clear. Thank you for understanding. I just explained it to you. Uh, and uh, I think all of you learned beautiful uh, Indonesian from me today. Please don't forget to pay for the classroom before you leave the classroom, okay? Because now you learned how to say gang gang. Dang kami tambara tambahan badai naya sigal as sigal this is in the movie I know him si sat si satu man or root or Quran that's messed up <laughs> I'm sure the Indonesian they will say to themselves this guy he just damaged our language there's no glue can repair it after this. Mm. <clears throat> All right, any other question before we finish our Indonesian class for today? What is the snad of a stone? What? Of stones, palm trees, and the leather, the leather Zaid got Quran from. Has any Muslim actually explained this? Or did Zaid simply copy whatever he found? <coughs> Uh, you see, uh, this topic will, uh, uh, I mean, Muslim themselves, they are confused about it, and there's nobody can get any something. When you say Isnad, you are talking about like the, the you know, something to, to lean on as a proof of reference or a proof of evidence. 
Islam has no nothing like this. When the Muslim they say Isnad, Isnad is always used for their benefit. They've been in the Muslim school, they bent on the Muslim sect, and any book you read, you will find they have different story. They bent that they belong to who? Uh, however, uh, if you have a specific question, uh, like here you're saying the Isnad of the stone, palm trees, and the leather. You have to focus in one question and make it clear what is exactly you want. But anyway, I assure you that there's not a single story in Islam can be proven to be true. Uh, because all the stories about Muhammad written 300 years after Muhammad, uh, and it's according to, according to, according to, and nobody witnessed who is according to who. Uh, same time, uh, the Muslim themselves they play a game once they like a story they say it is authentic once they hate a story they say it's not authentic however you will find that the same sect when they like they say the same story is authentic and the same story is not authentic depend in the place depend in the politics depend in the game islam is not an honest religion to take an opinion from a muslim or a muslim book they wrote history, but their history is a lie. They wrote their books, and they themselves admit that their books are full of lies. So how we can talk about authentic or proof? Uh, Jay Smith, he said, Muhammad, he copied Quran from a Christian. Okay. Well, we cannot say so for a very simple reason. There's many things that have nothing to do with uh, such a thing. So, uh, like Harut and Marut, beat your wife, it, oh, it, tons of things. But we can say Muhammad, he copy always the stories from people around him, like the seven sleepers, Zul Qurnayn, the sun set in murky water, hail is coming from mountains in heaven, uh, how the sperm is formed. So all those stories is coming from either pagan belief or from... Uh, you know, like the old days believe on stupid things like, you know, sunset and, and mud, boiling water. Uh, Muhammad, he copied. There's no question about that. But to say he copied the Quran from a Christian, no, that's not true. He copied in the Quran some stories from the Christians, but not the Quran is coming from there. See, to say that Muhammad, he copy his book from, we have to have a perfect match. Like, as an example, I can say to a Jehovah Witness, you are copying, you are just changing some letters. Like, in, 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 uh, in the beginning, it was the word, and the word was a God. So, they replace, they, rep they, they made it a, and that made God many gods, any God. Uh, so, Jehovah Witnesses, they have a perfect copy with some little replacement, which changed the whole meaning. Islam is not like that. Islam is a mix of many, many, many beliefs. <clears throat> hey, yeah, maybe you are mean. I, don't, I did not see the video of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, J. Smith. Uh, he is saying he copy and then he add a letter to the end of sentence. So book like they are there. Okay, you, you know you see that if you read in the Quran, let, let me let me go in front of you. Any any uh, any chapter we are reading, you will see that the most of the Quran end with ya nin on ya in. Yeah, let me. Uh, I don't have the software in this. Uh, ya in letter Y and letter N. In English, mubin, mubin, in. So, uh, Muhammad he chose the, the the most easy two letters to use for his words. Those letters can be added anywhere in Arabic. I can see here instead of mawzun, I can say mawazin. Razik, Raziqin, 
معلوم معلومين خازنين you see it the one who speak Arabic he will notice that how the letter ya noon appear at the end because Muhammad is very weak in Arabic and this is anyone can do it any anyone you can add ya neem to anything if you go and read the Arabic poet you will see how difficult it is and how even they don't repeat the same word twice <coughs> I will see a person making point and he make a thousand line a thousand He didn't repeat the word twice Very powerful people in the language Muhammad is just a fool like uh, if you go as an example There's always letters in Arabic you can add to any word as an example, chapter 55, verse number 22. And, 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 and. But you will notice, Muhammad, he repeat, we have it, we have it in, uh, uh, in Indonesian. Muhammad, he repeat the same, the same exact thing, exact sentence. If we switch to English, because he had nothing to say, you know, he, he, he don't have a good uh, uh, English skills, uh, sorry, Arabic skills. And he's empty. Then which of the favor of your Lord you will deny? So if we search for this sentence exactly as it is, in one page in the Quran, it's all over. Look. The same, same, same sentence. You have nothing you're saying. There's no way God will speak such a stupid language. So when you say that he was copying and uh, from a Christian, uh, I don't think this is really a copy uh, of a Christian. There is something exists before Muhammad. It's called Saja. Saja, if you go even in the Hadith, they mention it. Saja is just speaking with a, a tone of language, like when you make rap music. But the Saja was done by the Arab was really good. So when somebody speak in such a language, in Arabic they call him Saja al Kuhan. Here we go. Look what it says here. When somebody speak something so good, Muhammad himself, he was wondering how good he is in his speech. So he said, this is, this speech is, this person who made the speech, he is from the brothers. He do me carefully here. He seemed to be one of the brothers of sooth savers. I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. You see? So those are very well-known people. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Sutayh. This guy was very big, huge, you know, in size. I don't want to use the word fat, but this is what it is. And you, don't, you talk to him, he don't answer you normally. He answer you saying Saja, which is way better than the Quran. Quran is stupid. He give you a nice answer in a nice language, and he use like a, a, a tone of the letters at the end but he make it really come perfectly and that's why Muhammad he forbid people to write or talk like the Sajjah because the Quran was he was trying to make Sajjah and he don't want anyone to compete with him and this is the hate in front of you I don't know if the reference showing let me take off this comment so you can see the reference this is not a poetry. Saja is not a poetry. Saja is an easier language, way easier than poetry. Uh, but doesn't mean uh, all people can do the same. There's people that are very strong in the language. They can do it really, make it uh, really beautiful. But it's not grow to the to the level of poet. Anyway, I cannot judge what uh, what you are saying about Jay Smith because I did not watch his video. I don't want to. Uh, speak wrongly without knowing what he said maybe he have a good point and I'm not sure what he what he is coming with any other question all right we are here for one hour and 55 minutes and 53 seconds and now 55 seconds 56 seconds 58 seconds what the heck is that many Indonesian do not know Arabic and English well, this is why we are trying to reach to everybody around the world with our books. 
and we are sharing our books, my books, in Indonesian for free. So Indonesian people, they can learn and they can they can be set free from the cult of Muhammad. I feel sorry for them. You see those Indonesian women wearing the hijab, the burqa, and their country is so hot. I mean, how in the world you can live like this? You see, the Muslim, they say, Allah is merciful. Is that a mercy? He wrap you in a blanket in the middle of a weather which already killing you. Is that a mercy? How, how your body will, will smell under that blanket when you are walking, walking and the street and the, the, the humid of, of Indonesia, the temperature of Indonesia. You know, how that work? You see, at least in Saudi Arabia, it's hot, but it's dry. It's dry. It's hot, yes. But there's no humidity. Unless you live in Jeddah. But you live in Indonesia. How in the world you can function? That is not mercy. And not, this is not what God, he wants for you. See, if God wants to cover women in the way the Muslim they do, he will make you born with the clothes. Can't, can't he? And women clothes does not make her decent or not decent. For sure, like there's certain clothes, obviously a woman, she's trying to be a whore if she's trying to get the attention, you know, in the wrong way. But there's many women, they, you know, they, they were burqa, but they are prostitutes. Actually, if you read in the Old Testament, you will see that the Palestinians, Palestinians in the old days, the pagans, they, the women, they, they vowed themselves to wear burqa and they sit in the front of the of the temple so they can practice prostitution this is a vow this is like a part of worship and islam is no different isn't it muhammad and the quran and the muslim they agree that the, the arab used to go around the kaaba and how they go the hadith says they used to go totally naked wearing nothing and why allah did not make a verse you know, Allah, he had time to make a verse about eating pork. The country has no pork. Nobody grow pork there. It's a desert. There's no food for them. Heat will kill them. Here it says that they used to go around the Kaaba totally, totally naked. Not a single verse in the Quran saying, shame on you to do that. in the state of nudity in the state of nudity and the Arab they make it as a business actually so you walk in the state of nudity and then there is a certain days you have to be in nudity but you need to rent specific clothing from the Arab of Quraysh so you can go around the Kaaba so you walk first naked and women go naked and then there's a certain time where you have to rent certain clothes which is naked itself and until then the Muslims are naked when they go around the Kaaba. So you ask yourself what was the religion practice at that time and today which required naked women around the Kaaba? Well, Ustaz, he teach them they, they will go, go holy uh, to get to heaven with hijab, but we know that hijab uh, can be a way of, uh, you know, doing wrong. You see, I'm not against a woman to dress as she would like. Which which one is better, actually, if you ask me? A woman wearing uh, no clothes, going in the in the beach, or a woman wearing hijab? I say a woman wearing hijab. As long as it's a choice for her. All right? But Islam made the hijab as a way to subdue women, to control women, to make them a vagina. It's not the opposite. Hijab is a vagina deal. Because you're a vagina, then you have to dress in a certain way because we need to cover you. You see, if the excuse of women... Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is.
not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, even forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims, but it doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are speaking your root, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.